Well, good morning to y'all out there in Facebook land, YouTube land. So happy to uh, have another day of life. Well, the Bible says, This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, this morning, uh, I'm so thankful for my salvation. I'm so thankful. Uh, no sun shining in here right now. But I'm so thankful for my salvation. I'm so thankful uh, to have Jesus Christ as my Lord and my, my King. Um, and um, so thankful for my, 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 uh, my, my sister, brother-in-law, my, my, more like a bubby to me. My brother David, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Bubby. Uh, and uh, my sister-in-law, Trisha, more like a sister to me. Uh, so thankful for my, my niece, my nephews, all my nephews. Uh, uh, just so thankful for uh, mom and dad. Many blessings in, in, in this life. But, but last night, uh, I, was, I was in church, and... Um, Rip Fox with Brother Oscar, and as I got out of Brother Oscar's church, I stepped out the door, and I, I heard uh, somebody just screaming and hollering and praying the Lord. And I, I, I praised the Lord. I, I really didn't know who it was there at first. I, I was looking around, you know, my 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 hearing, you know, when somebody speaks to me on this side. It sounds like it's way over here. If it's way over here. It sounds like it's way up there. I mean, the opposite directions for some reason. But anyway. Here I am, and I'm hearing uh, this guy just praising the Lord, and so happy in Jesus. Kind of startled me at first, and then I realized uh, who he was. I realized who he was, one of the members there at church. And he was beside his truck, and he just praising the Lord. But he, but he said something about two or three times that really touched my heart. He said, Lord, make me, make me your servant. Lord, I want to be your servant. I want to be your servant. I want to be in service for you, Lord, to the end of my days. And he said that about two or three times, and or maybe even more. And I, but, but I begin to think about that. You know what? I want to be a servant for Jesus. I want to be in service for the King. You know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just a vessel. That's all that I am. I, I'm no better than anybody else out there. I mean, we all had to come to Jesus the same way. Let me tell you, my friend, hallelujah. I'm proud to be a servant of Jesus. I'm proud to be in service for my King. Going to the nursing homes, visiting uh, with my family, going to the nursing homes and visiting and going to the nursing homes, lifting up that name of Jesus. You know, it's, 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 it's wonderful. It's amazing to me just being able to, to lift up to lift up that sweet name of Jesus, the word that I go, to lift up that sweet name of Jesus. It, it is just amazing to be able to do that. And I go to be a blessing to them, but you know what? They're a blessing to me. They're a blessing to me. Oftentimes, I go in sometimes and I, I could be feeling depressed. And by the time I leave there, I, 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 I'm just so excited because they get me excited. They get me excited. You know, uh, they're there waiting. Not, not only for, for me, but they're there, they're waiting for, uh, when, when y'all go in and visit uh, and, and have church, they're there waiting for you. They're there waiting, uh, and, and they're ready to, to get church started. If you're not there on time, you know, they worry. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let me tell you something. I mean, it's fun to be in service for the King. It's, it's fun to serve Jesus. No wonder. Amen. No wonder. Amen. When, uh, uh, when uh, they told Saul to, to go seek hallelujah to the uh, Lamb of God of uh, one count Ananias and he seen a vision Ananias did of uh, the Lord told him that Paul was coming to him so the Lord was working on both ends but he said Lord I, I feared of how mean this man is I heard how rough this man is it doesn't matter how mean and how rough they might be when when Jesus gets a hold of them. When Jesus gets a hold of them, the, 
They begin to humble down. They begin to humble themselves down. And they begin, amen, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God to serve Jesus. Amen. Their hearts begin to melt right down. It doesn't matter how rough and tough they might sound. Amen. When Jesus gets a hold of them, hallelujah, he makes a change in them. Amen. Yes, he does. He makes a change. He makes a change in them. Glory, glory, glory. He does. He makes a change in them. You might say, well, he's the roughest, meanest man around. Well, God can save him. God can put him in his right place. You got a child that's out there, amen, that's wandering out and sin. Hallelujah, God can put him in the right place. Hallelujah, don't give up. Hallelujah, but keep on holding on, amen. Keep on holding on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep on holding on to Jesus. But, uh, the Lord told Ananias, he said, he's a chosen vessel unto me. Paul's a chosen vessel unto me. Paul began to kneel down before the Lord, didn't he, on that road to Damascus. He knelt down before the Lord. He was going to hunt down the church to be mean, to be rough and tough. But rough and tough got broken down that day. Rough and tough knelt down before the Lord that day, didn't he? Hallelujah. He knelt down before the Lord. He bowed before the Lord Jesus. Good glory, glory, glory. He became a vessel for the Lord. He became a willing vessel for Jesus. I'm glad to be a willing vessel for Jesus. That's all that I am. I'm just a willing vessel. Just a servant for Jesus. My friend. So today, my prayer is, Lord, let me be a servant for you. Throughout this day, Lord. If it's if it's a if it's a Walmart that you go, or if it's a McDonald's or Hardee's, wherever it might be, amen. Go in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give, give the world a smile. Be a, be be willing to give a listening ear. You don't have to beat your chest. Go in and and and, and uh, uh, beat your chest and, uh, and and all that. You know because they can tell by our actions that we're a Christian. They can tell by our actions that that we walk with Christ, talk with Christ. They can tell by our actions, or they should be able to tell by our actions. If they can't, then there's a problem, right? But oftentimes, I've, I've just gone to McDonald's or I've just gone to Hardee's or wherever. And I've just sat there. Just being a willing vessel. Somebody will sit down. I've seen you on TV. Or I've seen you at the nursing home. Or I've seen you at the hospital. Or, 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 or I've seen you preach somewhere out. You know? And they'll just sit down and begin to talk to you. They'll open up that door. Maybe in the to God. They'll ask for prayer or whatever. And I'm just being a willing vessel. I'm just willing to listen. Sometimes we just need to be willing to listen. Amen. Glory be to God. We just need to be willing to listen. We need to be willing to be a friend. Right? But amen. I don't know why God had this on my heart this morning, but let me tell you tonight. Be a willing vessel for Jesus today. Be willing to be a servant of the Most High King. God bless you.